Lance King here with What Can I Achieve Today. And this is a quick intro into a video about myself uh, because everybody wants to know, you know, how did you start? And they always want to know some things about you. And, and But the bottom line is not everybody is successful in the beginning, obviously. So I'm just going through and explaining who I am as a person because I'm not perfect. And I'm sure if you ask yourself the same question, are you perfect? Um, we can probably all agree that no one is perfect. So, as you kind of watch this video, I, it's, I did it when I was in a, a mood where I was quite reflective, and it's a little slow, but if you think about some of the things that are being spoken about, I'm sure that you can also uh, reflect on um, your own life and what is important to you. Now, I go through some of the things like the military, uh, divorce, and and some of the character shaping events that happened to me. And I'm sure if you think about some of those difficult times in your life, you will also be able to reflect and think about that as well. So without further ado, here I am in that video discussing how I got to that point. Hello, my name is Lance King and this is my What Can I Achieve video for the day. This video is a little bit about me and why I'm starting this website and the goals that I have, the dreams that I have and how I came to actually get to those dreams and goals. Now the most important thing to remember is you have to start from somewhere so it doesn't matter and I love the quote that says you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great and that quote really sticks with me because I'm 40 years old now. I had, at, when I was 39, I had a pretty rough year physically. I, I injured my shoulder and I, <laughs> I was in a biking accident and um, broke a rib. And then two months after I broke my rib, I was kind of weak from not really working out for a couple of months and I tried to lift something and boom, I had three hernias in my spine um, and that was at 40 years old just to turn 40 a uh, month and a half afterwards and, and that really got me on the path of thinking that there are plenty of people in my place maybe just on the physical side but it goes much deeper than that I have had a lot of experiences um, military divorce family, children, custody battles, uh, moving countries, um, dealing with immigration, um, you name it. Life has been an incredible journey so far and has not been easy, but um, I am making the best of it and that's why I'm creating this video because it tells a little bit about who I am and the more I tell you, um, I can get into these pretty intense states because there's some serious emotion and because I know that if I get into those states that there are also other people out there like you who maybe you haven't reached 40 yet but you also have had experiences that have just torn you down and have beaten you down to a pulp and you get into this state called learned helplessness where it doesn't matter what you do it just feels like you're constantly hitting your head against the wall and one of those vicious circles is um, involving your children and uh, getting into this vicious cycle of um, you want to see them but you don't have the money to be able to go and enjoy time with them uh, or you just think of my own experience and, and, and having these vicious fights in court where literally your life doesn't go anywhere until you can get through these court battles. And I had one that lasted about four and a half years. And I would not wish that upon anyone. Every three weeks going back to court, literally losing everything. And I remember sitting one time, man, this is hard to talk about, but I had $41 in my account and 
didn't have a job anymore because every three weeks I had to go to court. <clears throat> I had a job in California. I went back to school after my divorce to get my master's degree. And uh, throughout the court process, my ex-wife had was extremely vindictive and always trying to find a way to use the court against me. And I hadn't seen my kids in almost a year uh, because of it. And then I was finally able to go see my kids, but I had to pay like $50 an hour just to see them on supervised visits. And this was an extremely, I, I, I don't know, I felt like I was losing my dignity as a person. Like I have to pay to see my kids. I have never done anything wrong to them. I've never done anything wrong. And um, of course, child support was adding up. I had this great job in California after I'd got my master's and of course uh, this was in Texas and as soon as child support or as soon as your pay increases child support had went to the max it was something like you know $1,875 a month uh, and I, of course when you're not working <laughs> you see how fast that can build up so going back to court to change that wasn't even more difficult battle financially because it's like it you can't change it unless you go back to court but if you don't have any money to go back to court you're stuck in this insane battle and and I, and I worked through that and it, it just it was a very painful process but in the end I was able to see my kids and that was what I wanted I mean it was an insane goal at times to even think about because you know one time i was arrested and i was because i wanted to go see my kids so i called the police i said hey um can we just go see the um my kids because i haven't heard from them for a, a week my ex doesn't answer the phone so i can talk to him and i know she's just being extremely vindictive when she's doing this so one day i just i said hey can you meet me over there so i went and i waited for the police and I get there and he says, okay, wait here, I'll go talk to her. And he came back and he asked me, hey, do you have any guns on you? And I was like, what? <laughs> and he basically arrested me, he took me to jail for the day. And it was one of the most surreal moments of my life. I was like, I'm going to see my kids and I get arrested for it. Um, I was. I was beyond angry. I was beyond. It was. It was so frustrating. But through some good friends, um, I had to pay like, you know, some like five thousand dollars to get out. I'm like, where in the hell am I gonna get that money from? And and uh, through some good friends, had come along. Um, throughout the years in that process, um, one say here's the money, and the next one that night, she'd come and pick me up, and you know I'll never forget those moments. And, and throughout the years since, I've always returned the favor and being able to help them out whenever they needed something. Uh, but those are some difficult times that will really, really challenge you as a person, but also meld your character because. It's not what is around you that's happening, it's how you deal with it on the inside of you. And, you know, at the time, the only thing I could do was, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke. I would just jump on my mountain bike and I'd ride for 25 miles. I'd start at midnight, I'd end up at two o'clock, I would crash out. I, I, and if it wasn't for my friends at that time, I don't know how I would have survived. But um, um, yeah, so fast forward a, a few years, um, five or six years now, um, since then I've, I, I've, the good thing is I've actually been able to create a business that has, um, allowed me to travel and see my kids and thankfully because I was able to travel my my ex-wife ended up actually moving out of the country 
And, you know, part of me is like, yes, that's a good thing for my kids to get to go with their mother and, and learn a different language and, and they get to see their grandmother more often. And, I, you know, I think that's a good thing. But for me, I became an immigrant because I was not going to let my kids just uh, take off and not be, and me not be part of their life. And as a father, you know, if you love your kids, you're not going to let them go uh, without being able to see them. And you're going to do everything you can. Everything you begin to focus on becomes a must. You have to do that. Um, you know, sitting back and, and, and feeling like, you know, the worst father in the world already because you've been taken to the cleaners in court, getting back up and just continuing. You're not a loser until you give up. And then you lost everything. Um, now, I can't speak for everyone in everyone's circumstances because there's always those druggies out there, there's always those child abusers, there's always those people that just, I, I can't imagine ever doing that kind of stuff to a child or being, uh, you know, a bad example for my children. Yes, my ex and I had gotten in plenty of fights that I wish my kids hadn't hadn't seen, and just you know, throwing these you know arguments back and forth, and because I wanted to see the kids, she didn't want me to see the kids. She was bitter and vindictive, and it was just this thing that. You know, I wish I hadn't let my kids see, but you know, it, now that I'm able to travel with my, my job is, I started a business with one of my partners and it allows me to travel, be wherever my kids are. And so that's, that's been a good thing. Um, when you start a business, you know, if you've ever started a business, you'll know that it's not, It's not the easiest thing. I mean, I, when I was at my lowest point during the divorce and with only $41 in my pocket, you know, I've, I've been negative several, several times starting a business and trying to, you know, work through back taxes at, you know, at times. And thankfully, just keep, keep, keep going, keep going, even if it's just rough and my partner, I mean, Thankfully, he's one of those guys, he's a people pleaser, and he just wants to make things happen. And I want to make things happen. But I do get down at times, just like everyone else. And because of this, I know that if I'm this way, there's got to be several different variations of what I just explained out there that can be helped as well. And this is just a little bit about me. Um, in future videos, I'm going to go through some of the things in the military. I had 13 years in the military. went to some of, some of the most challenging schools. And you know, if it wasn't for me actually going through all that extremely difficult, those extremely difficult times in my life, I don't know what I'd be like today. But you know, looking back, I don't know if I would actually change anything, as crazy as that sounds, and of all the things that I just told you. I don't know if, if I would change that because it has created me or it has helped melt my character into who I am today. And that is why I'm creating these videos because I want to be able to create something of value to be able to help those people who are those, those men, especially maybe women, it doesn't matter what age you are, if you've had a similar experience that I've had and I can say something that will help you out and that is exactly what I want to do. So, that's just the start. Again, I'm not great. This is not a great video, but I'm not aiming to be great initially. I'm just trying to get started. I'll see you on the inside. Thanks. Okay, now that you've had a little bit of chance to hear where I'm coming from and maybe even a chance to reflect on where you've come from, um, that quote that I had that you don't have to be great to start, 
um, but you have to start to be great. That's a Zig Ziglar quote. And I find that very enlightening when you when you speak with other people who who have these goals and these dreams that they want to start and just like as I'm, I'm creating this video I know it's not um, the best because uh, I haven't really practiced on what I'm trying to to say and in, in terms of writing it all down and I did that on purpose because I want to actually know what it's like to have that reflection because a lot of people might intellectually know something, but in your head, most of what you probably should do, the principles that you know that you should do, are not always your values on the things that you actually do do um, on a daily basis. So being able to actually reflect as I'm creating this video is is one of the points that I'm trying to make for my own for myself because I'm also on that journey to becoming a better person. And along on that journey, um, I want to be able to help others get feedback from you and be able to use stories of other people's successes and failures to be able to help even more. Because in this world where everyone is connected somehow socially, um, taking those hardships that you have, which many times will create an isolated effect and you may isolate yourself I know I did for almost years I would isolate myself because especially during that that court battle and that is not a good thing if you want to actually become the best you that you can possibly be and so my goal is to be able to help as many people as I can give you tips along the way that I'm using that maybe you can see uh, that, that could work for you as well so without further ado, I'd like to end the video by saying thank you for watching and keep watching the other videos. And if you think that there's a story that you'd love to share, just go ahead and send me a message.